Hello guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Joe and this is my world. So uh, on today's video, I wanted to give a quick answer to a, st a student or maybe a fan who came and asked me a question. Now, the reason I'm replying on a video is because it has some kind of uh, complicated materials that if I go online to write, it's going to take a long time and you might not understand perfectly. So I decided to make a video again because I maybe there are other people out there who want to know uh, your question about your question. So um, uh, I will start by you ask that what will happen if I apply more than one uh, application with different emails? And your second question is what will happen if I didn't pay the application fee? Uh, I will start with the first question, which is, it's a great question. What will happen if you applied with two different emails? Now, I want you to understand that it depends, okay? Uh, for example, if you applied uh, the first time and you lose the email, then you change your email and applied again with the same name as the previous application, they are going to respond to you. They will respond to you and they will uh, process your application. They will assign you a program advisor. Let's say, for example, your name is Joel Ara, okay? And you applied with the email arajoel at gmail.com. Now, because you lost the password to the email, you changed your email and you applied with the same name, Joel Ara and you change your email to something else. Now, they'll reply you again. They'll give you a program advisor. But along the line, while you're studying, you need to make them understand that you are the first person who applied. Because the previous email, they are still going to be sending emails to that, uh, to that email. Okay, they are still going to be sending you messages to that email. Probably they, they, to encourage you not to give up, to encourage you to take on your studies. So you need to uh, tell your program advisor and they'll contact the, the technical team and they'll close that email. The second is that if you willingly knew that uh, or if you willingly know that you're applying, uh, you want to apply twice with two different emails, uh, you should change the names. You should change the names because if you use the same name with two different emails, it's going to post a problem while you're studying. Why? Uh, your information has to carry only one name. Now, they cannot have two, uh, the same name and two accounts in their system. This is going to post a problem because you have been achieving two certificates. Uh, two, uh, one, the same name will be achieving two certificates if at all you graduate at the university. So if you don't let them know, uh, if you do this, it might cost you a problem in the future. Okay, so applying with two different emails is okay. They'll respond you with two different emails, but to study further, it is going to be a problem. But if it was a mistake or maybe you lost your password to your email, you should contact the technical team or your program advisor and they will change everything. They will give you the, the they will continue uh, contacting you on the right email, the email you want them to contact you with. I want you to understand that if you want to apply uh, with two names, if you willingly want to apply, uh, the same name but different emails it is pro probably not going to work I haven't tried that but it's not going to work why because you'll be having two uh, the same names but two accounts which therefore means that you'll be studying probably the same thing or two different things and you'll be having two names you cannot be studying okay let's say bachelor's degree in uh, business administration with your name and you're studying master's degree or a bachelor's degree in science, uh, uh, computer science in the same name. It is not going to work. So you have to do it one email, one name. So yeah, if you are having problems because of you lost your password and you created another email, contact your program advisor and let them know that you are the person. 
And to go to your second question, you asked what will happen if I didn't pay the application fee? Uh, nothing will happen. <laughs> that is just a clear uh, answer. Nothing will happen. Now, I'll explain, okay? Um, when you apply and you cannot pay the application fee, your application will be suspended. Now, uh, if you cannot pay the application fee because you don't have the money, you can apply for scholarship. I, I made a video last time and I, I explained how to apply for scholarship. So let's say you've applied, okay? You've applied at the university and the email you submitted, they send you an email from the university, an email comes in to you. And you read the email, the email is always like, okay, I am your program advisor. I encourage you to study. I want you to complete your information. When that email comes in, uh, you will have to contact the same person to tell him or her that it, he, maybe he or she is your program advisor. So you need to contact him or her, tell him or her that uh, you are not able to pay the application fee. So you, are apply, you want to apply for a scholarship. In this case, he or she is going to respond, reply back to you with a link for you to apply for a scholarship. So if you don't pay your application fee and you don't apply for a scholarship, nothing will happen. Automatically, nothing will happen. But if you contact when they uh, send you a program advisor, you contact your program advisor, tell him or her that you cannot uh, pay your application fee because of one reason or the other. They will send you a link for you to apply for an application fee waiver. An application fee waiver is uh, a waiver that you will not have to pay the application fee. So when you apply, They'll ask you reasons why you want to apply for application fee waiver. Of course, it's because you cannot afford it. So when you tell them automatically your application fee will be waived and you will have an, another email congratulating you that you're welcome to the university. You've been admitted at the university. So yes, if you apply and you don't pay the application fee, it's okay. Nothing will happen. When your program advisor contacts you, write him or her and tell him or her your situation that you cannot pay the application fee. That is how you get applied or you get admitted at the university. So I hope I was able to answer your question. If you have any other doubts, any other worries, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. In that case, you'll be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Uh, on the next video, we'll be talking more about, um, let's say, more about uh, study of the week. So please stay tuned and see you in the next video. In the meantime, I wish us all the best this week. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.